Hi, I am Allie, the Literary Sewist. Welcome to my crafting castle. Today I would like to talk to you a little bit about All the Light We Cannot See. This story was picked up during quarantine so that I could have something to pass the time, of course, and it's also a Pulitzer Prize winner, and I've heard, heard, heard really good things about this, so I wanted to pick it up, see what it was all about. The premise really kind of captured me, so I was excited to get in and learn a little bit about these characters. Um, there are two main characters that we follow. The first is Warner. He is a young boy growing up in Germany. He's an orphan, and his sister lives with him in a orphan house, essentially. Um, as he grows up, he starts to fall in love with electronics and radios, and he has a natural knack for it, to the point of it kind of draws the attention of some of the other higher-ups in town, and he gets recommended to go study and learn at a German-specific school that trains um, young men to um, be soldiers in the Nazi army. He goes there, he makes a friend, he um, really impresses one professor, and he starts helping develop things um, for the war effort. Uh, Marie Lore is the other character that we follow. Her and her father are in France, and Marie Lore, as a young child, becomes blind very suddenly. So she has to change her world perspective in order to live in the world that's already around her. She has to adapt to her situation um, because she's now blind. Uh, her father works for the National History Museum as a locksmith, so she spends a lot of her days there, and a lot of her education comes from the professors and people who work at the museum, um, educating people and do, giving tours and studies and research and all that kind of stuff. On the eve of the Nazi invasion of France and Paris, Marie Laure and her father escape um, on foot, because trains are not running, they escape on foot to St. Malo, and there they find um, his uncle, um, her father's uncle, so that they can um, have somewhere to stay that's a little more secure. Um, things happen, Marie Laura ends up being there with just her uncle, um, and the two of them have a really strong bond. In the meantime, Warner's working in the army and soldiering on, um, they both have very similar feels about the war, about it's not right, we need to do, I want to do something, but they don't know what to do in order to survive. And that's essentially what the story is about. It's about survival and going out and doing what you have to to make the best of your situation to um, survive through the tragedies of war. And so I really looked up to them. There is a third character's perspective that we follow. Um, he is um, a sergeant major with the Nazi Reich and he is in charge of collecting all of the valuables um, for all of Europe and basically anything, um, jewelry, money, um, statues, symbols of power, um, furniture even, he gathers all of that, um, ships it out, and then um, distributes it to the high-ranking officials in the Nazi Reich. He has a very specific um, object of power that he's looking for, and that search ties in the stories of Warner and Marie Lore. So the three of them, are all kind of intertwined without ever really knowing why they're intertwined with each other. It's a very heartfelt story. The thing I enjoyed most about it was that it was very genuine. I felt very connected at the end, because I know I said I did in the beginning, very connected to what they were saying. I really felt like these fictional characters could have existed within this world um, that was very much a reality and very much highly documented. So we do know um, the horrors that they would have experienced. Um, these characters really came to life. It was done beautifully. I really very, very much am glad that I stuck with the book. I almost completely DNF this, did not finish. I was really having a hard time getting into the little chapters um, at the beginning. It was just like, eh, okay, I'm not sure I can make it through this. Um, so I'm glad I did. It was really very much worth it. I gave it four out of five stars on my Goodreads. Um, I recommend it to anybody who loves historical fiction, especially if you really enjoy the World War II time period. It was a perspective um, from children that I hadn't really experienced before. This was a story of people who were just trying to live through the day and just wanted to end up on the I'm still alive side of things as the day goes on. Um, so it was a really unique perspective to watch. And I enjoyed it very much. I would love for you to read it. 
so in thinking about what it was that I really connected with in the story, um, I really connected the most with Marie Lore. Um, she was so much of a joy to write about, um, despite all the things thrown at her left and right, you know, beginning from when she lost her sight as a child, she always had a little bit of hope, a little bit of optimism, and just a joy for the little things that she had. She had some braille books that were very expensive to come by um, at the time, and she really just lit up off the pages. You could feel her excitement and joy to have those little things in those bright spots, and for her to really come through all of this um, story and still continue having all this joy and innocence and optimism, I just really wanted to convey that as something for me. So I wanted to make a dress that would um, convey joy and happiness. Um, so I got this gorgeous plum and lavender and a little bit of pink um, fabric from the fat fabric shop. Um, it's um, so I'm going to make a dress from the Pattern Emporium, the Follow Me Wrap Dress. I will be throwing that all together and showing you what I come up with at the end. And so maybe I'll throw it on, try it out, put it on, take some pictures, shoot some video, and show you what I came up with, and we'll discuss it all at the end. I can't wait to get started. Hey, life tip. Open Crafting Castle for business. So say we all. everything all cut out, it's all laid out, ready to go. Um, Starbuck is going to be on the sidelines and Stitch will be heading it up for most of this project. So let's get going. down crafting castle farewell be my goddess of the thread Favor and like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you all next time.